Good morning, everyone. Well, you know, the history of Land Cruiser is a history of Toyota itself. Now, let me take you back exactly 72 years when the Land Cruiser legend was born. And this was the time of Kiichiro Toyota, founder of Toyota Motor Corporation. The company was only 14 years old, a disruptive startup in an automotive world. Corolla, Crown, they're all still to come, and Toyota was hardly known outside of Japan. Now fast forward to today, and Land Cruiser is sold in 170 countries and regions around the world. Literally, Land Cruiser put Toyota on the map. Now, lifelong bonds are often formed in the most demanding of circumstances. And our customers have experienced the extremes of life alongside their Land Cruisers. From prairies to deserts, from the north to the south poles, it's safe to say that Land Cruiser has seen more sides of life than any other automobile in history. Mud, ice, sand, salt, Across the planet, there are many perilous roads. And at Toyota, you know, we like to say that the road makes the car. With Land Cruiser, the car makes the road. And these roads connect communities and enable irreplaceable ways of life. In rural Africa, a doctor rushes to a patient through floodwaters. In the Australian outback, an elderly woman takes a two-day round trip to the nearest town. And in Antarctica, an observation team works in a minus 45 degree blizzard. Indeed, one of the first cars to conquer Antarctica was a Land Cruiser 40 series. In moving to the hottest places on Earth, the first exports of Land Cruiser were to the Middle East in the 1950s. And thanks to a Saudi Arabian car distributor, Abdul Jamil, local folklore now says only a Land Cruiser or a camel can get you over these dunes. But it's here in Japan, in an area only accessible on horseback, that the story began. In 1951, on the steep volcanic slopes of Mount Fuji, development of the first generation Land Cruiser, the Toyota BJ, started at the request of the Japan National Police Reserve. Now, this sounds like the perfect story, but in reality, it didn't get the job. But like any good recruit, it set out to prove itself and become the first vehicle ever to reach the sixth station of Mount Fuji, an altitude of 2,700 meters. And this resilience paid off. It got its first commission as a police patrol car, and its goal in life became clear, to protect livelihoods. Now, you see before you today many examples of Land Cruisers throughout the years. And what unites them is simple. Their ultimate mission is to take you wherever you need to go and always bring you back. If a Land Cruiser breaks down, it's not just a matter of inconvenience. It can be a threat to life itself. The value of Land Cruiser comes down to just one word, trust. The trust to put my life in your hands. Now, the Toyota BJ that laid down that foundation of trust has a direct descendant in the 70 series. And this may be a workhorse, but it's become an icon, the legend itself. You know, and over the years, we've received so many comments from fans on social media pleading with us not to let it go. Don't change a thing, they said. Well, we listened, and today I'm pleased to reveal that we committed to updating the 70 to keep that legend alive.
Well, you know, seeing this refreshed Land Cruiser 70 next to its ancestors, there's no questioning its loyalty to its roots. It's proud to be raw and utilitarian, and under the revised bodywork, we made just the updates functionally necessary. A new, more efficient engine and transmission, and of course, advanced safety features. Now, if the, S if the 70 is the essence of Land Cruiser, well, then the flagship Land Cruiser 300 is definitely the pinnacle. But today, I want to talk about what lies in between those two worlds. Today is all about defining the core of Land Cruiser. Now, Land Cruiser has a special meaning for our chairman, Akio Toyoda, whose grandfather first introduced the vehicle. And when it came to developing the new core model, his task to us was, was simple, deceptively simple. Genten Kaiki. Taken literally, this means back to origin. And he didn't go into detail. It was up to us to work it out. And our immediate reaction was kind of like to look backwards. Do we reinvent the bare bones 70 series? Do we go retro? Now, that was too obvious. He was giving us a chance to hit the reset button, a chance to reassess the real meaning and values of Land Cruiser in Toyota's portfolio, and a chance to create a vehicle that distilled those values so they would act as a foothold to the future. We embrace that chance to divine the unwavering core beliefs of Land Cruiser and put them in a form that would transcend trends, a product in which all our customers could place their unconditional trust. When everyone saw our proposal, they were equally unwavering. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the new soul of Land Cruiser. So what do you think? Pretty cool? <laughs> As a member of the development team and a long-term Land Cruiser owner myself, you know, this was a dream come true. We had a chance to reassess every past aspect of the Land Cruiser for its relevance and redesigned it ground up to embody Land Cruiser values for the modern day. It's honest, it's lean and agile, it's fit for purpose. Now, let me take you through the five key areas that make this model the true soul of Land Cruiser. Number one, capability. At the heart of this is the GAF platform. Reliability, durability, they're all built in, and performance over rough terrain is on a par with the flagship Land Cruiser 300. This capability is now more practical and accessible than ever. This is the first Land Cruiser to have electric power ste steering rather than hydraulic. This improves ease and comfort on-road and reduces kickback off-road. Number two, choice. The powertrain line lineup reflects diverse regional requirements. For the first time, this includes a hybrid powertrain in a Land Cruiser. Now, this tried and tested technology increases fuel efficiency as well as performance with no compromise on durability. It was an extremely difficult task, but it's allowed customers in all corners of the world the chance to participate 
in the journey toward carbon neutrality. Number three, intuitive operation. Vehicle control is fundamental to building trust between driver and machine. And we design the cockpit controls to be easily to identify and operate by feel alone. And here we sought the expertise of Dakar rally champion Akira Miura, no stranger to driving under pressure in extreme environments. And he told us that it's crucial that the interfaces support the driver with maximum accuracy and minimum effort, whatever the conditions. And that brings me to point number four. Beauty is function. Every aspect of the design is based on the premise that beauty comes from functionality. Proportions are calculated for maneuverability in extreme environments. The sides are kept slim, the overhang short, and the corners carefully sculpted. The low belt line, narrow A pillars, and angular structure, they're all designed for visibility and easy, accurate orientation. And customers also reminded us of the importance of damage mitigation and repairability. The high-mounted headlights, they're designed to rise above the debris and, of course, the long savanna grass. The segmented front bumper is designed to be easy to repair. But this objective approach to design and functionality, it's not the whole story. A lot of effort was placed on creating a subjective feeling of trust. For example, the wheel-to-body offset imparts a feeling of strength and stability. It gives the driver confidence in the capability of the vehicle. It has to look the part. Everything, everything in this car has a story and a reason. And finally, number five, the new Land Cruiser will reach even more people. Yeah, that's right. The Land Cruiser is coming back to America. So we went back to the origin and we came out looking to the future. This Genten Kaiki journey was a soul-searching exercise in many respects. And as a mobility company, we honestly believe that freedom in motion is a universal right, one to be enjoyed by everyone in the world, wherever they live. And the Land Cruiser development, this process reminded us that in many parts of the world, individual mobility is not a luxury, but a lifeline. Our customers trust in us to keep Land Cruiser relevant and thriving toward the future. And this future could mean anything from carbon neutral approaches to ensuring that the Land Cruiser brand is more affordable and within reach of even more people around the world. Or it may even mean exploring new approaches to mobility that enhance not only the Land Cruiser experience, but also further people's freedom in motion. Suffice it to say, there are lots of exciting paths to changing the future of cars. Kuruma no mirai wo kaiteko. Thank you very much.